sky of blue and sea of green. In a minority government, we will be that collaborative, conciliatory voice that will get Canada back working. We're even being told that we can cross party lines to get Canada working. We want to see a Canada that works together. That includes parties that work together, MPs that work together, no matter how many shenanigans and funny tricks they try. And we're going to continue to get voter turnout up in our ridings and get people re-engaged with democracy. That's the name of the game here. What I have observed happening in Ottawa is a complete disrespect for what I consider sacred. Climate change is here. We are seeing it today in our extreme weather patterns. And I'm here to tell you that the Green Party, we can all be very proud, is the only party that has the kind of bold visions we need for that change. That's why we need some Green MPs in Ottawa to support Elizabeth May, who has done absolutely amazing work in the past four years. She needs some help. Find everyone you know, and if they say, my vote doesn't count, ask them then, if your vote doesn't count, why do you think Stephen Harper went to so much trouble to make it harder for you to vote? Do not let someone tell you that you're not entitled to vote for what you want. Don't let anyone try to tell you that you're doing the wrong thing by voting for the best candidate. You can vote for someone who will work for you. You can choose to vote for the best candidate. Greens stand firm for a beautiful future, for a Canada that accomplishes absolutely anything and everything for the well-being of all, because we know we can do it when we work together. We say yes to justice. We say yes to ending poverty. We say yes to education that every kid in Canada has a right to go to school and not end up with a debt that crushes their future. We say yes. To just say yes and suppress it's freedom of the press. Hopper man, it's time for you to go. Everyone sing.